So we saw you speaking uh, earlier. What's the main message you're trying to get across today? That the response to COVID is a lot worse than COVID. And COVID isn't about a virus, it's about increasing government control over our lives by using fear tactics to make people comply with giving up the rights and freedoms that millions of people fought and died for. Cool. And, much. And, and what do you say to the people that we spoke to some of the people across the street, they're saying you guys are all stupid, that uh, a lot of them say mandatory mask outside is what they want. How do you respond to uh, people who are against what you're standing for here today? Well, the fact of the matter is, I just came from Netherlands. The Dutch are not stupid people, they're smart, they're independent, and they have balls. So guess what? They have no masks. They have 17 million people. If you go to a train station, maybe one out of 20 people is scared enough to wear a mask. Their bars are open. The girls are still working. You can go smoke a joint in their coffee shops. You can eat in their restaurants. They're open till 2 o'clock in the morning, and they've had less than 200 people up to age 60 die. When I was also, and also Amsterdam is one of the top three cities in all of Europe for international travel. 50 million visitors a year from all over the world. So I met people from all different countries when I was there. Guess what? The only other country that's stupid like Canada and wearing masks on their school children was Germany and Belgium. Belgium's EU and UN headquarters and Germany's had millions of people protesting in the streets over it. Italy, no masks on the kids. France, only masks for 12 and older. Egypt, no mask on the kids. Iran, no mask on the kids. Sweden, no mask on the kids. Finland, no mask. Denmark, no mask. So what is Canada and why, why do we need them here where all these other countries are just fine without them? Answer, you don't. And when you have real world examples, that's the proof. It's that simple. You don't need a mask. A mask is about compliance because they know Canadians like to do what they're told. So if they tell you you have to wear a mask, next they're going to tell you you have to contact trace. Then they're going to tell you you have to take the vaccine. And because Canadians like to do what they're told, they're hoping that everyone just complies. And then guess what, kids? Once you take your vaccine, like a dumb person that doesn't know any better, they're going to tell you, sorry, the vaccine isn't as effective as we thought it was going to be. So now you still got to wear your mask, still got to get contact trace, still have all the restrictions and social distancing, and still take your vaccine. And then what did you get out of all of this? You got a whole year where you weren't allowed to travel, your business was closed, they took your rights and freedoms, they forced the vaccine on you, and what happened? The same amount of people died. Everything is the exact same. And now they're going to put you back on lockdown and bring it all the way till July of next year so they can do the same thing again. Bring you from July, August, and September, getting you off lockdown, but just to bring you back on lockdown again. If you idiots haven't figured it out yet, it's a perpetual cycle that you never get out of. And it's a way to take your rights, your freedoms, close your business, take your wealth. Why? So you become dependent on government. Why? If you're independent, the government works for you like it's supposed to. If you depend on the government to give you a paycheck to feed your family every month because they closed your business on you, now the government doesn't work for you. The government rules you. So instead of a middle class, we have the government, upper class, and the lower class dependents that rely on the government to survive. In other words, we have a slave class. And that's what they're trying to do. It's that simple. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris.